Hi everyone, welcome to the David Ross Education Trust YouTube channel. We're delighted to be joining you here from Inglesby Academy for our PE lesson today, which is on gymnastics and looking at basic shapes and jumps. I have Chloe with me today, who's also going to join in the session with me. So what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to start off with a warm-up. So a short warm-up, about five minutes, and then we're going to start looking into those shapes and those jumps. So to begin with, the first warm-up we're going to look at is looking at uh, do, uh, warming up our neck. Okay, so I want you to put your chin to your chest. And then I want you to put your head back. And chin to your chest again. And head back. And now what I'd like you to do is put your head to the side. And head to the other side. Back again, and to the other side. Chloe, do you have one for the shoulders we could do? Yes, I do actually. Okay, can you just show me that one, Chloe? So first of all, you will have to move your shoulders backwards one at a time. Okay, so if we just move one shoulder backwards. And then do the other one. Okay. Well done guys at home, keep doing cheap trying this. Yeah. And then we're going to do it forwards. Excellent, so going forwards now guys, back to the first shoulder, moving that shoulder forwards, keep going. Sometimes it's quite tricky to work on one part of your body. Okay. Now swap. You are swapping over again. Okay, so back over to the second shoulder. Excellent. Working that one, well done everyone at home. Um, and now we're going to do it forwards with both our shoulders. Okay, so just to finish off with, just working those shoulders forwards. Well done guys, if you're doing this at school or you're at home giving this a try, that's it, just work those shoulders, try and get nice and loose for our gymnastics session. And now we're going to do it backwards. And moving the arms backwards. Shoulders, that's it, well done. Brilliant, okay, excellent. So we're getting nice and warmed up here, okay? We're warming up our joints to make sure they're ready. We will do some things in a minute to try and build our heart rate up as well, okay? Getting us ready for exercise. So what's the next one we've got, Chloe? We have to do our arms now. Okay, brilliant. So do you have one for us for our arms? I do, actually. Okay, can you show me that one? Okay, so we're going to move our arms and we're going to circle our arm backwards. That's it. So let's see if you can keep that arm so it goes straight up, round and back down. Straight up, round and back down. That's it. Well done everyone at home. Oh, we're at school. Brilliant. Okay. We move on to the other arm. That's it. Circle it round. Warming up all those joints, getting ready for our gymnastic session. Excellent. Okay. We're now going to do it forwards. Going forwards now, okay. So we've done it backwards, now we're going to try and do it forwards. So rotating the arm again. See if you can brush it past your ear. Okay. Sometimes go slower. Sometimes go a bit quicker as you get warm. Brilliant. That's what? Okay, swap it over. Brilliant, well done everyone. So now we're going to do both of them for Okay, so we're going to get both our arms now, okay, using both at the same time, and we're going to rotate them around and forwards. It's important in gymnastics that we work on our flexibility and our core strength. That's one of the key things about being a gymnast, keeping your body nice and strong and flexible. Okay, I'm sure we've got a few gymnasts watching this video, so you're probably quite used to some of these activities before you start your gymnastic session. Okay, okay so now we are going to do 
backwards. Okay, so we're going to try it backwards now, everyone. That's it, well done. Make sure you're in nice space for this. Make sure you're not too close to a wall or too close to another classmate. Brilliant. Okay, so the next one we're going to try and do is we're just going to do some waist turns, okay? So all we're going to do is just turn, half a turn, and then turn back again. That's it. So just turning at our waist. Very important that we are nice and flexible at our waist for gymnastics. Brilliant. We'll do two more. One, two. Well done. Okay. Next one. Do you have another one for us, Chloe? Yes, I've got another one for your side and waist. Brilliant, okay, can you show us that one? So you either put your arm on your thigh or across your body. Okay, so arm on your thigh or across your body, okay. And then you're going to do it. Okay, and then we're going to swing over. We're just working on stretching that side of our body, okay, near our ribs. And then hold it. Okay, can we swap over to swap sides? Okay, so again, swinging over. Arm at the side of your knee. Brilliant, well done everyone. Okay. Do we have another one, Chloe? Um, well, we have to sit down. Okay, so we're going to just do a little bit of work on the legs now. So we've worked on our waist, we're going to carry on moving down our body. Don't forget we started off with the neck, okay? Can sit down? Yep. Then we put our legs in the bottom position. Okay, so feet together, okay. Um, and we're going to bounce. And we're just going to bounce, okay? Just bouncing, tops of our legs and our knees, just up and down. Okay, just getting ourselves nice and flexible. Okay, ready to start our session. Brilliant. Okay. Can we start back up again? Yep. I think you had some work on some lunges for us, didn't you, Chloe? For the next one. Okay, would you like to show us that one? Okay, so we're going to work on our lunge. So we're going to step out with one foot. Okay. And we're going to keep the back leg straight, bend the front leg. Okay and keep the body upright, we're just going to lean forward, you should feel this in the back of your leg. Well done everyone, we've got swap over. And it's important that we warm up to get ourselves ready. You also need to, you don't put your hand on your knee, you put it above your knee okay. to warm it up. Okay, just on the thigh there, just resting on the thigh. Brilliant. Okay, excellent. So what we'll do to start, just to finish, we just roll our wrists and ankles. Okay, get them nice and loose. Okay, we'll just do some marching, just to get our heart rate up a little bit. Are we ready? So we're just gonna march and swing the arms. And if you've got enough space, we'll march forward. So we're gonna march off our mat a little bit and we're gonna march backwards, Chloe. Well done. And we're going to march a little bit sideways, so if you move towards the wall bars, that's it. And we'll come back together again. Excellent, well done. And we're going to do some running on the spot, okay? So we'll run on the spot. And this time we're going to bring our knees up. Well done everyone at home or in your school, brilliant. And we're going to do some heels up as well. We're going to flip those heels up behind us. Brilliant everyone. So keep it going, that's great. Okay, and we could do a few little skips, so we can skip on the spot or we can skip out a little bit. So we're just gonna step and hop on our skip. That's it, just skipping on the spot. And if you can move forward a little bit, you can. And if you can skip backwards, a little bit tricky in this one, and you can, okay. Fantastic, so we're ready to go for our session. Now this session is gonna be on jumps, okay, jumps in gymnastics, okay, so we'll go through those different jumps shortly. Before we do that, we need to look at our different shapes for gymnastics, very, very important, okay, so Chloe and myself are going to take you through these shapes. If you've done a lot of gymnastics before, you'll be really familiar with these ones at home or at school, okay. So the first shape we're going to look at is going to be our straight shape, 
And this is going to be important for our straight jump, okay? So here we go, so we're going to hit the straight. Ready, Chloe? Yeah. And three, and two, and one. Okay, so it's keeping our body nice and straight, almost like a pencil, okay? Arms up in the air. Okay, you can put the feet together as well. Uh, back down again. Okay, let's try straight one more time. Arms out of the side. Three, two, one. And down. Um, so I know you've got that straight shape, shape at home. Okay. The next one we are going to look at is going to be our straddle. Okay. So what we're going to do, okay, we sit down on the floor. Okay, opening the feet wide, okay? So legs open nice and wide. Chloe, you're much more flexible than I am. So fantastic, Chloe. I'm sure there'll be some gymnasts at home, okay, that have got that nice straddle shape. So we're gonna hit the straddle shape. And also, if you were doing some vaulting, Chloe, for the straddle position with your arms, we might have the arms out wide as well. We might have them out to the side or in front. Okay, so we could have them in front here or out to the side, okay? So you can practice those different positions on the straddle, okay? Next shape we're gonna look at is going to be our tuck shape, okay? So we've looked at straddle, we're now gonna look at tuck. So we're ready, so we're gonna bring the knees up to the chest, okay? And we're gonna hold in our tuck shape. And of course, we're probably all familiar with the tuck jump, okay? I'm sure a lot of us have done a tuck jump before. Excellent, okay, well done. Right, so, the next shape we're going to look at, Chloe, is going to be a pike shape, okay? So here we go, so we're going to go into our pike position, pointy toes, feet together, okay? I can have the hands on my legs here, or I can go into pike here. Okay, and reach, well done. Or if you want to have a straight back, you put them by your bottom. Okay, so if you want to hold your pike shape, okay, and keep your back straight, you can put your hands at the side here. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and we're going to also then look at the star shape. Okay, we're ready. So three, two, one, and hit star. And this one, guys, very, very important if you want to be able to do your cartwheels. Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do now, I'm going to do a little test for you back at school or at home. I'm going to call your shapes and you're going to see if you can remember them. Okay, here we go. Chloe, could you take part in this one for me? Of course. Yep, okay, brilliant. So I'm going to call to Chloe. You might do this with a partner if you're working at school. If you don't have a partner, maybe you could get maybe a sibling or a guardian or a parent to do this for you. So Chloe, if you want to face, that's it. If you want to face this way for me. Brilliant, are we ready? So we're going to go for straight. And we're going to go for star and straight, and star, and tuck, and pike, that's okay, that's it, into your pike, straddle, and tuck, pike, and straight, excellent, well done Chloe, okay, so brilliant. If you know your shapes off by heart, that's going to really help you for gymnastics. But if you don't, okay, just work on them, and in the end, you'll know exactly what one, which one is which, and you'll just be able to do them very, very quickly. Okay, so the first jump we're going to look at is going to be nice and easy to start with, Chloe. It's going to be the straight jump, okay? There's a couple of things I just want us to work through for our technique when we're going to jump. The first thing is our arms are very important when we try and jump for distance or when we try and jump for height. Okay, so I want you to get a nice arm swing from your side, either forwards in front of you to help you to take off, but also then when you land, I want you to try and land with two feet, okay, and I want you to bend the knees on landing, and I also want you to finish with your arms out in front, okay? Rather like you would do if you were a gymnast, I'm sure some of you have seen some gymnasts at the Olympics, and when they land from a vault, they cushion their landing. And then if you're a man, obviously you present with one hand. And if you're a female gymnast, you present with two. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to look at our straight jump. So I'll just model it. And Chloe can model too. Okay. So arms by the side. We're going to swing them upwards. 
Okay, to make our straight shape, taking off from two feet, and then we're gonna land, okay, with the arms out in front. Are we ready, Chloe? Yeah. Three, two, one, and hit the straight, and then down to land in our landing position, okay? So ready, ready at home, we're in school. So after three, okay, one, two, three, and land, okay? Remember, we want to land very quietly. We need to land on the balls of our feet, and it should be a quiet landing, as quiet as a mouse. It shouldn't be heavy like an elephant, okay? Here we go, one more time, Chloe, okay? One, two, and three. And coming down. That's our straight jump. Well done. I'm sure you've mastered that one. Okay, at home or at school. Again, keep practice on it. Maybe sometimes you didn't quite get the landing and you might have taken a step, okay? Obviously, if we can, try and land on the spot. They call that sticking the landing, don't they, Chloe? You've got to try and stick the landing, okay? The next one we're going to look at is going to be our tuck jump, okay? So what we have to do for our tuck jump, again, we're going to use the arms, okay, to swing. But this time, we're going to bring our knees up as much to the chest as we can. We're going to leave our, when, when our knees are up, we're going to leave our, our, our hands pointing downwards, okay? So I'll just show you this one quickly, folks. Okay, so I'm ready, hands up the side again. I'm going to swing my arms, enter this position. Three, two, one, and then down, okay? So remember, bringing both feet off the floor, knees coming up, arms in the air at the side of my knees, or the side of my legs, and then I'm going to land in my gymnastics position. A little bit more tricky in this one, so give it a practice if you're doing it at your school or you're at home. Should we give it a try, Chloe? Yes. Okay, here we go. So three and two and one. Down, let's try again. Three, two, one. Down. And let's do one more. Three, two and one. Just lost my balance at the end. I landed a bit too far forwards. I got a bit more height. So if you are finding this easy, okay, try and go for more height. Try and bring those knees up to your chest a little bit more. Let's try one more, okay? okay. I'm gonna try and get good height this time. I'm really gonna try and get my knees up. Ready? One, two, and three. And land, okay. Fantastic. Okay, the next one that I'm gonna try and do is going to be my star jump, okay? So I'm gonna work on my star jump. Again, this time, once I hit the star position, okay, I'm then gonna come afterwards and land with my hands in front, okay? Can you do that one? Okay. So again, arms start the side, and then we're gonna take off, two feet taken off, hit our star position, and then back into our gymnastics landing. We ready, guys? And three, and two, and one, into star, into your gymnastics landing. Try and stick those landings, okay? Really, really important. If we're in a gymnastics competition, we don't want to be losing any marks for poor landings, okay? Are we ready? Three, and two, and one. Let's see, I'm gonna see whether I can get my legs a bit wider, whether I can hit that star shape a little bit better. Chloe, are you gonna try and do that one for us? Yeah, you're gonna give it a try, okay? Let's, have, let's take a look at Chloe's, our counts are in. Three, two, one, hit the star, hit the land. Well done, Chloe. Do you want to count in? Sure. Okay, thank you. Three, two, one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so I've got that one. Right, the next one that we are going to look at is going to be a pipe shape, okay? So this one's a little bit trickier. What we have to do, and I'm not so good at this one, guys, I'm sure you're doing much better. When you take off, okay, you're gonna flick your feet out in front of you, okay, and you're gonna try and reach for your toes as you do it. And then you're gonna land then into that gymnastics position. So when you take off, two feet take off, flick the feet out in front, okay, and then you're gonna come down and you're gonna land in that gymnastics position. 
So let's give it a try. Like I said, this one isn't one of my best jumps, guys, but I'm like anything, give it a try. The more you practice it, the better you're going to get, okay? Yeah. Have you done this one before, Chloe? I actually have, but it's not my best jump. It's not your best one. Okay, here we go. So give this one a try. So arms at the side again. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, and then try and bring. So try and see, watch those feet flicking out in front. Okay, three, two, one, into the pipe, and then down. And again, one more time. Three, two, and one. And down again. Okay, fantastic. Again, work on that one. I'm sure you can master that one as you go along. Okay, which one would you like to do now, Chloe, or our jumps? I could do a half turn. Jump with a half turn, okay? Now, some of you at home, you might be, maybe you've been done skateboarding before, okay? So you're probably used to 180s and 360s, especially if you might do skating as well. So we're going to do jump with a half turn, okay? Again, a little bit trickier this one. What you can do is you can either face away, okay? And then you can use the arms to help you to rotate round and try and stick your landing. You might find you're better at turning in a certain direction. So for me, I find it easier to turn to my left, okay? Which adds, so it's much easier for me to turn that way. Some people might find it easier to turn the other way, okay? I find it easier to turn to my right. Do you? Okay, there we go. So some people might find it easier one way, some people might find it easier the other way a lot easier. So give it a try. So here we're going to go. So we're going to start off, this time you can start with your arms out if you want to help you to rotate, or you can start with your arms by your side, hit the rotation point, okay, so arms up and then spin round, okay? Are you ready Chloe? Chloe? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So feet together, okay. I'm going to start with my arms out. Three, two, one. Remember that gymnastics landing at the end, okay? Arms out in front. Let's try it the other way this time. I'm going to spin back towards you guys. I'm going to turn back towards the camera. We're ready. Three, two, one. Into the turn and round. Okay. So let's jump with half a turn, but you could do jump with a full turn, so a 360 spin. I know that some of you can do this at home. Okay. Again, not one of my best jumps, but I'm going to give it a try just because. If I don't try it, one, I'll never be able to get better at it, okay? And two, you've just got to keep trying different things, okay? When you're doing sport, when you're doing anything at home, anything to do with school, keep trying, give it a go, and eventually you will get better at it, especially if you keep strong when you're doing it and try and think about how you could improve. So we're gonna go 360. So what we're gonna try and do, we need to really get that rotation, and we're gonna face back towards you. Okay, would you like me to try it first, Chloe? Can I have a go? You want to go first? Okay, okay, so here we go, Chloe. Remember that rotation. You're going to try and finish facing back towards the camera. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Well done, Chloe. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Here we go. Can you count me in, Chloe? Three, two, one. I think I just about made it. I was feeling a little bit not so balanced there as I came to land, but yeah, okay. Just trying to think how I could improve. Could try and flip myself a bit more round from my core as I spin. Would you like to have one more go, Chloe? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. So, three, two, one, go. Well done, okay. So I have one more try, okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Um, got round, but not the best landing, a little bit wobbly on the landing at the end. Okay, give it a try, work on those, that one. Jump with half a turn or jump with a full turn. Okay. We've got, um, we've got a leap to do now. Absolutely. So this one, it's a little bit more tricky, but we're going to look at our cat leap or leap. Okay. So this is something that is part of a gymnastics routine that you might do on a beam or on a bench, okay? Could you just show me a cat leap quickly, Chloe? Okay. Okay, so what we have to do is we, in the air, we always have to cycle our legs round like we're riding a bike, okay? 
So we have one foot forwards, and then we cycle round and finish with the other foot forwards, okay? Okay, if you can see that cycling technique. So me and Chloe do it together. So I'm stepping into it. I like to have my arms out for this one. So I'm gonna step in. Okay, sometimes you can finish with your heel up as well. Okay, and again, I'm gonna step in with my right foot. So I'm gonna step, circle, and round, okay? And again, let's try again. So we're gonna step forwards, circle, and round. So that left leg's coming up, and then followed by the right foot, okay? So it's quite a tricky one, this one, but I know with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do it, and also what will happen is you'll just slowly start to get the right balancing point and how your legs are moving. Brilliant, okay. Right, I think what we can try and do, just to finish off with, is we can try and link these different jumps together. Would you like to try and do that with me, Chloe? I'll try. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna link our jumps together. So if Chloe comes onto the mat, so we'll start off with a straight jump, into a star jump, jump with half a turn, brilliant, into a tuck jump, excellent, into a pike jump, so legs flicking out in front, brilliant, okay, excellent, so you can give them a try, okay, should I have a quick go? Yeah. Okay, can you call my jumps for me? Star jump. Okay. Tuck jump. Tuck. Straight jump. And half turn. Jump with half turn. And pike jump. Pike jump to finish. Brilliant. And that would be a jumping sequence that you could try and do. Okay? And you might combine your jumps. So sometimes you might combine two jumps with two rolls. So, Chloe, could you just do a quick routine for me? So something, if you're in a sports hall, okay, and you do have a bit more space, Chloe, I'd like to see a jump, then a roll, so it could be a forward roll, then another jump, and then another roll. It could be a cartwheel, okay? That's counted as a roll. Yeah, we'll count that one, okay, as one. Right, okay, ready? So we're gonna start off with a, so you can start, let's call it, so straight jump, into a forward roll. Okay, into jump with half a turn. Into a car wheel. Excellent, okay. So, if you, are, if you are able to do a bit more of those gymnastic skills, that could be somewhere where you combine your jumps in with some rolls as well, okay? Fantastic. Guys, well done for everyone who's taken part today. Brilliant. Keep practicing. Keep working on these skills. I'm absolutely loving seeing you guys giving sport a try at home. I know some of you are getting to go to school as well, so those who are also still taking part in the PE also at school. So give it a try. Chloe and myself will obviously see you again soon, or you'll see Mr. Dennett as well on future videos.